In this week's edition of Rick Answers' email, we have five paying customers. However, one of the folks who paid $5 did not ask a question. So I picked another question I think is a good question, and I want to answer it for everyone anyway. It comes from Jane in Carbondale, Colorado, and she's asking about the upgrade of CCleaner. Every now and then, if you're using CCleaner, which is a great little cleanup program, it's going to say there is an upgrade available, and then it's going to bring you to their website where many folks do get a little bit turned around and confused. So when you click on the upgrade link for CCleaner, you're going to be transported to their website, which is owned by Puriform, and then you get this option here. They would like you to donate. A lot of freeware programs are offered as donation optional software. I would by all means donate to them. I have. If it's a useful utility to you, give them whatever you think is it's worth, and I encourage you to do that. Now, to download the actual product, come down here and go to the links, but don't click on the file hippo. You're going to get confused by some of the ads there. Click here where it says download from pureform.com, and then once you click there, you'll automatically get the download link. So, good question. Next up this week is a question from Jim, who's bought a indoor master security system software, but his computer has to be running all the time for those security softwares to work, because it's probably doing some video. In fact, it does say here he's doing video security, and he's wondering what he can do to have the software running but not have his laptop running all the time. Jim, the best thing you can do is get yourself what's called a Kensington lock, and a Kensington lock is a very high security lock made for locking down a laptop. So go to kensington.com here, and then you'll see their option here to secure it here or computer locks here. And then we'll go to Home Solutions. So we're going to click on their Kensington Micro DS. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a bike lock for your computer. And all laptops have a little Kensington lock slot. And it's just an oval slot on the laptop's body. And you'll see it usually on the back corner, left or right, of certain laptops. And they do work pretty well. The thief would have to work very hard to get through these locks. And if you secure it to a nice, strong, immovable object, your laptop should be safe. Nancy has the next question. She's asking about how to stop the auto scroll in Windows. And that happens usually when the Windows mouse driver gets a little bit messed up. So here's what you're going to do. Click your start button. Right click on the computer icon. She's using Windows 7. This works for any version of Windows. Go to properties. The properties comes up. You're going to click device manager right here. When the device manager comes up, go up here to mice and pointing devices and right click and uninstall whatever you find in there for a mouse and a pointing device right click and uninstall them shut the computer off and then turn it back on your mouse will probably be disabled so you have to use your keyboard alt f4 to shut your computer off and then turn it back on it'll force windows to re-recognize the mouse and then reinstall a driver now the other thing you can do while the computer is off the other thing you can do while the computer is off, it's probably a USB mouse. I would unplug it from the back of the computer and plug it back in. Secondly, if it's a cordless mouse, replace the batteries as the computer's off. That's going to help. And if it's a Logitech mouse or some other brand of mouse, go to their website, see if there is a new version of their driver. Typically, you don't need those, but on your particular computer, if it's not working properly, download a new driver from the manufacturer's website as the last I wouldn't do that unless any of the other options that we've already given you don't work. So good luck. John has a question about reinstalling Google Chrome. He said he's not able to reinstall it after it stopped working and he's read somewhere that it might be because the AVG web shield is up. Well, John, first make sure you're going to the Google Chrome website and that's google.com slash chrome. Once you're there you can download the full version. And, and then to disable the web shield temporarily in AVG, what you can do is come into your AVG control panel, and then you can right click on the antivirus and the anti spyware and the resident shield. This is the one that's most important probably for what they're going to try to do. You can right click on them and disable them temporarily. And then just reboot your computer and they'll come back on once you reboot your computer. The other option you have is if you really want the Chrome on there and AVG is giving you a problem, uninstall AVG and then reinstall it after you get the Google Chrome installed. And lastly today we have a question from Diane who's asking is there a reputable online site besides Amazon to buy QuickBooks Pro? And Diane probably the best thing to do is go straight to the source and that's QuickBooks.com and here's QuickBooks.com and you can download the product. It's a large download if you want to download it online but you can do it. 
and when you get it from QuickBooks.com, you are getting a legitimate copy, and it doesn't cost you any more because software like QuickBooks has a fixed price no matter where you buy it. So I would go to QuickBooks.com, and you'll be sure to get exactly what you need and the support you need. Thanks for your questions, and I'll be back the next time I have some more built up.